NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Barry Butch Wilmore are finally back on Earth after nine months in space. But here's something surprising. NASA still makes astronauts splash down in the ocean. But why? And what do they see when they re-enter Earth's atmosphere? Let's break it down. The two astronauts along with two others departed the International Space Station aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule. The spacecraft undocked at 10.35 a.m. India time and splashed down off the Florida coast at 3.27 a.m. India time on Wednesday. After their return, they will face the challenge of adjusting to life with gravity, which is a tough process after months in space. So what exactly is splashdown? Splashdown is when a spacecraft lands in water using parachutes to slow its descent. It's a method NASA has used for decades to ensure a safe return. When a spacecraft re-enters Earth's atmosphere, it's moving at extreme speeds. Air particles create friction, which slows the vehicle down but also generates intense heat. Experts explain that during re-entry, the spacecraft's surroundings turn into a scorching hot flow of plasma reaching 1500 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than even lava. And why does NASA prefer water landings? Parachutes help slow the spacecraft down, but even at lower speeds, crashing onto land is risky. Water acts as a shock absorber, reducing impact force and preventing the spacecraft from flipping or rolling. NASA's Orion spacecraft, for example, deploys 11 parachutes at 9,000 feet to slow its descent. Even then, it still lands at 17 miles per hour, which could be dangerous on hard ground. Experts say water is ideal because Earth's surface is 70% ocean, making it the safest and most accessible landing option. Landing on solid ground comes with risks. Uneven terrain could cause a spacecraft to overturn or roll. One astronaut described the experience as a series of explosions followed by a car crash. In 1976, a Soyuz capsule veered off course and landed on a frozen lake. The crew barely survived the landing. Experts note that while land landings allow astronauts to exit the vehicle quickly, a failed water landing could be life-threatening. A Soyuz re-entry in 2003 saw the capsule land 322 kilometers away from its target. One astronaut recounted, we just waited a few hours on water that would have been a lot less comfortable. Ever wondered what astronauts see when they return to Earth? NASA says it's just a wall of fire. As the spacecraft heats up, plasma engulfs the vehicle, making the view outside a bright orange and red inferno. Despite the risks, splashdowns remain NASA's go-to method for bringing astronauts home. Sunita Williams and her team are now set to experience it firsthand. For more details on Sunita Williams' return back to Earth, stay tuned to the official YouTube channel of the Indian Express.